20 years ago, we kicked off our first summer of Warriors basketball camp. Warriors on three. One, two, three. Warriors! Now we have eight full-time staff members in youth basketball, which is the largest youth basketball team in the league. When you have guys between the likes of Draymond, Steph, oh, it goes. come in with this energy and this excitement that certainly differentiates us. And did a camp uh, right before my rookie year, and I was just a guest speaker for an hour and got to see kind of the, the atmosphere. Fast forward a couple years and we did our overnight camp and that was where I really got to see the machine at work and how his whole staff you know, operates with so much energy, discipline, and it's obviously all about the kids and they do it so well. How are we doing this afternoon? There's not a lot of people in this world that get to say they absolutely love what they do. We're a tight-knit family that absolutely loves what we do. But the most important piece is just building confidence and we'll set the blueprint for the NBA. It's July 2016. Only two months have passed since Stephen Curry won his second straight MVP award. MVP! MVP! Come on! Come on! He is playing campers one on one at his camp on the North Shore of Oahu, Hawaii. It's nine year old Sophie's first time at a Warriors overnight camp. While playing against the Dub Superstar was a memorable experience, there's one memory at Warriors basketball camp that she'll never forget. My first camp was Iron Horse camp. I was six and I lost my first tooth. <laughs> I got hit in the face with the ball. <laughs> it's the memories that last a lifetime for campers. That's because there's something special about Warriors basketball camps. And it all began with this man, Jeff Adiego. Are we excited? Yeah! I started here in 1999. I was actually still a student at San Francisco State University at the time. I played college basketball there, wanted to do whatever I could to stay around the game. So I did an internship my, my last semester there. I tried to do anything I could to just stick around the Warriors. And now 20 years later, he is the Senior Director for Youth Basketball for the Golden State Warriors. He is the godfather of Warrior Basketball Camp. Oh man, Jeff is like the pioneer of youth basketball in the NBA. When the camp's program took off in 2000, there were only four summer camps, but Jeff had a vision for something even bigger. Jeff saw something different. He saw a goal that we could go to every borough of the Bay Area. Let's get out to the South Bay, let's go to the North Bay, let's go to Santa Cruz, let's go all around those other places and let's take our show to them. It's just him. I mean, he's almost like a different breed in a sense. He's been our leader and um, just someone like you really want to come every day and work for. When you hear about basketball players and their coaches, they always talk about, I had to run through a brick wall. That's Jeff, 100%. He just really, you know, makes everybody feel like family. You know, we go eat together, you know, we do things together, we take trips together and things like that. And I think something that is extremely important, especially with our department is the camaraderie. That's why we all love each other. You know, there's not a lot of people in this world that get to say they absolutely love what they do. I feel like we're a tight-knit family that absolutely loves what we, what we do. Making it happen, baby. Right here at the camp, representing. Kids of all skill levels and abilities attend Warriors camps to grow as athletes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get money. All right, go get it. There you go. Dribble, cross over, turn. Yes, that's perfect. For campers like Sophie, it's the coaches who leave a lasting impression. There you go, good job. My favorite coach right now at basketball camp is Fritzy because she's nice and funny. All of the coaches are. Great coaching staff, love every coach, and I always see the same coaches every year, which I like. I ended up going to one of the staff camps like five years ago, and then I just keep coming back. It's just a great experience, and I get to play basketball, which I love playing. Even though 
we've got these kids that, that are just super energetic and they're just fun to be around. You know, kids are joking around with coaches, coaches are joking around with kids and each other, and, and it's just such a fun atmosphere to be around. I nicknamed my coaches a lot. I mean, they're really nice. They called me Mini Steve Kerr. Things like that make you think and remember, you know, camp and how much fun you have. You know, it's a lot of fun to do things like that. And for this nine-year-old camper. My name is Bryce, and it's spelled B-O-Y-C-E. It's the people that make each camp special. My first Warriors kid, we were like shooting around, and then that's when I made my first friend, and his name was Chase. And this is my second one. So far, it's been good seeing Sean Jimmyson. Pick them knees up, knees up. Ah, ah. I'm Jaden, I'm probably gonna come back next year, and yeah. Get up there, hey! One of the main things that brings campers back year after year is player involvement. A favorite memory from camp? Eating with the players. I need a fork and a knife. What are you guys serving today? Chicken curry, right? Chicken curry? <laughs> is it my birthday? <laughs> Fish and chips, Can I get some chicken curry, please? Would you like rice, though? Yes, please. They're serving chicken curry. Ha! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Y'all hanging out with me? Yeah. Eating some fake fruit? Yeah. <laughs> How was the uh, the afternoon session? It was fun. It was fun. Did everybody have chicken curry today? Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. It was, yeah, it was fun. You don't like it? No. Yeah. We had salad. When you have players and coaches come in with this energy and this excitement to want to give back. We believe that that certainly differentiates us. Good job. Good job. For us as a staff, anytime we get to interact with Stephen Curry, it just it drives us to be better. You know, I want to be better at what I do because of him. You know, not only does he inspire our campers, but he inspires all of us. Very first camp I went to, the thing I noticed was the energy. It's time to pivot. Oh, the give and go! The give and go! Nice! 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 This is my fifth year. And then the first camp I went to was the Steph camp. So Steph was there and that was like like crazy for me, star stuff. And then I just keep coming back. Jordan Bell camp was my first Warriors basketball camp last year. It was amazing. I got to meet him. Who wants so? My favorite part of camp is probably meeting this player, playing basketball, and having fun. Oh. Who got next? I was kind of nervous on the first day, but when I got into camp, I really liked it because you got a lot of basketball in five on five, one on one, three on three, and other lots of fun games. We always talk a lot about never losing the joy of the game, so keep it fun, right? So oftentimes kids can go into competition and they're kids. And so for us, if we can just make sure that rule number one is have fun and then teach them from there just different life lessons on the court and off the court, then we feel like we're doing our job. I love it so much. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm gonna brag to my family. I'm gonna be like, I went on the basketball court. It felt so awesome. I felt like I have just reached basketball heaven. It's the second day of camp early in the morning. It's picture day, but I'm having a little fun. I'm gonna scare some of these kids on the way. Every summer, there are overnight Warriors basketball camps and each one is filled with surprises. Selling Girl Scout cookies. What's going on, my man? How you doing? For campers, dorm visits are the best part about overnight camps. I'm here to see Frozen. Is this where Frozen is showing? No? <laughs> What's going on back here? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's just something so cool that, that the players have done at our overnight camps. It's really special. It just really gives, you know, that that interactive feel. It's, it's 
something super cool and I know some of our best like memories and footage have come from the guys just, you know, poking their heads in. There is no other NBA player that connects with the kids better, inspires them more in that type setting than Stephen Curry. In 2018, Steph took the camp scene to a whole nother level. He had a mission to host an all-girls basketball camp in the Bay Area. My favorite camp, oh, I just immediately thought of our all-girls camp. My favorite camp was the all-girls Stephen Curry camp because it was all girls and there's no boys there. He came to us with the idea, hey, I want to do an all-girls camp. I want it to be a free camp. And so we started our, our It's Our Game camp in the summer of, of 2018. It was phenomenal. You know, Steph, obviously, you know, in his interaction with the girls over the course of the two days, it, it's top notch. It's just a great experience. So we kind of capped that off in year one by adding a second edition in year two. Here we go. Here we, here we go. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Hey, good pass. Good pass. Good job. Get back on defense. Cash. Campers got to connect with influential women in the game, including former WNBA player Jennifer Az. She spent some time with the girls at camp when a special guest arrived. Oh my God! Sorry. Sorry, Jennifer, I didn't mean to. I'm just gonna hang out. I'm missing it. to really have that interaction with Steph and, and spend time with them on the court and be inspired and, and want to push themselves even harder as players to become better. The idea to, to start the, you know, an all-girls camp came about and now just trying to continue to, you know, leave a great impact on the, the next generation who just want to play the game at a high level. This segment is brought to you by PG&E, proud community partner of the Golden State Warriors. We are here at Hooptopia. I'm going to surprise and uh, get, hopefully give uh, Make-A-Wish kids an amazing experience uh, being at Chase Center, being at Hooptopia. This is always a great event that I look forward to doing every year. To be with my favorite NBA player, it was amazing. At the end of the day, uh, it's about creating connection for them and their families and uh, hopefully again give them an experience that they'll remember forever. For most people, the likelihood of making it to the NBA is very low. But three former Warriors campers have done just that. The journey to become a professional athlete can be a long and winding road. But for Tyler Johnson, Will Cherry, and Juan Toscano Anderson, their journeys began at Warriors Camp. Warriors Camp meant a lot, it changed my life. It was really exciting, I was, that was my first basketball camp. It's propelled me to be where I am today. So I started playing basketball in third grade. Alvin Adels' wife, she was my third grade teacher, and I was playing soccer prior to that, but she actually put me into a Warriors basketball camp. So that's kind of what just jump-started me playing basketball. I fell in love with it. I still remember that camp like it was last week. My first basketball camp was here. A lot of you guys, I've been in your shoes. I know exactly where you're sitting. And there are people here who uh, still remember me from camp. And now I'm 26 years old. So these memories will go a long way. Juan played college basketball at Marquette University. And after going undrafted, he took his talents to Mexico to play internationally. In 2018, his career took him back to California when he was added to the Santa Cruz Warriors roster. Playing on Santa Cruz was really cool. I had the opportunity to play with some great coaches, uh, some great players. One of those players was teammate and fellow Oakland native Will Cherry, who like Juan, went to Warriors camp as a kid. I want you guys, you know, to thank your coaches at the end of this week because they don't have to be here, right? They do this because they love you guys and they love what they do for this game. Um, and that's why this, this camp continues to grow and grow and grow and grow. I was a camp coach when he was a kid at camp. It's crazy to think, you know, I'm watching a Santa Cruz game last year and I'm like, wow, like five, six, seven years ago, like I drove that kid to camp to, to work with me. It's nuts, but it, I think it's amazing for our program because these kids get to obviously see, you know, what can come of it. 
it's just a really good thing. I, I don't think uh, Will does it for any amount of money. I think he would come back if we gave him a t-shirt to just come back and talk to the kids that are here in the same situation he was. And I've been in those kids' seats before. Some of those kids, they might be playing on their local AU teams or just on a playground. But when you, you get to come to a to an NBA camp, you just to step on the NBA court, it does something to you. And it did leave an impact, especially for kids like 10-year-old Jaya. I was excited to come here today because I never actually stepped on the Warriors court. And I never even went to a Warriors game before. It feels great to be a part of my home team and be on their floor. And some of my favorite players will run on this floor. These kids are, are lucky because they're seeing the side of, of the Bay Area and the Warriors camps that we didn't get a, a chance to, to see back then. And it's only going to keep getting better. And the family, it's always a family. When I come back, I'm always seeing people I grew up with. The group as a whole, we feel very connected. Um, and that's key, right? And so to be able to get out and show the kids and what the definition of family really means is displayed in, in all types of forms when we're at camp. Together on three. One, two, three. Together! Here we go. In February, Juan Toscano Anderson's career reached a new height when he was signed to the Golden State Warriors and his dream of playing for his hometown team finally came true. It truly is a great story. A kid who grew up in Oakland and now Juan Toscano Anderson is starting for the Golden State Warriors. I never thought in a million years that I would be playing for the Warriors, let alone in the NBA, but it's exciting, man, for myself, for my family. I've always been a Warriors fan. Just being from Oakland, is, I feel like it's embedded in me, you know, so it's just amazing to be a part of this organization now, and I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, it's amazing, you know, to have someone like Juan Toscano Anderson, to have someone like Will, someone like Tyler Johnson, you know, three success stories for us. Obviously, we've had thousands of kids that come through camp, but, you know, that, that chance to make it to the NBA, is, it's really a one in a million shot. And the fact that we've had guys do it already, it's just something special. It was on this court where Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson and Draymond Green grew as athletes and champions. And in January, the Warriors made upgrades to their former practice facility to expand the team's youth basketball efforts across the Bay Area. The reopening of the facility marks the first NBA facility in the United States that is dedicated to youth basketball development. It's, it's got to be special for sure to have somewhere that they can continue to run amazing programs out of for kids that know and experience what it was like to be in our, our practice facility where we trained every single day to win those championships and go through those journeys. So just hopefully an eye-opening experience for anybody who steps foot in the building to understand what it means to be a warrior. The greatest things for us is, is when we get those emails from parents that, that tell us just how much their child benefited from being a part of our program, that they made their middle school team uh, and they you know, wouldn't have done it without their experience with us. You know, those are the things that really put a smile on our face and encourage us to, to work even harder. So um, those are the things that are, are most rewarding for us. The new camps and clinics will feature three full-size NBA courts, skill cages, good, good, good. Keep your head and eyes up. shooting cages, and state-of-the-art basketball technology called Shoot360. It's going to be unbelievable. One of the things we will be doing is partnering with Shoot360 to bring some innovative performance technology into our facility to allow campers and participants and, and young aspiring players to really get some metrics around their workouts. The Gives kids an opportunity to improve their shooting, their ball handling skills, and also their passing skills. Passing. Ultimately to become more comfortable, confident, and connected in the game. It enables me to get more reps in. I've seen a big difference in my game. I'm a much more confident basketball player. Not only do these kids have the innovative technology that Shoot360 brings, not only are they able to execute the drills and the things our coaches are teaching, but actually put those things into play when they're on the court competing against other players. Here we go, get low, rip through. These Good. kids are gonna really get a ton of knowledge from great coaching staff and then really work on certain fundamentals that are most important to their game. Good. 
And so the countdown is on for the grand opening of the Warriors basketball facility. It's amazing over the years just to see the progression. I mean, Jeff has been the best leader for all of us. Our goal from day one is, is to make our program something that's for everyone. And that's kind of been our motto and, and guideline that's been leading us through this entire way over the course of the 20 years. To look back and hear everyone's story, it's amazing. Just all the youth that we've hit from all around the Bay Area, if not around the world, who have come to our camps and been a part of what we've offered. What does camp mean to me? Just having fun. They help uh, us improve. Shooting, dribbling, passing. Slide on defense and talk, like dream on green. You have to make sure there's nobody guarding the person you're gonna throw it to. I come to camp to play basketball, make friends and have fun. I always get better. It just helps my overall game. It's a legacy. It's something that, you know, started in the 90s and now we're here. It's something that you can definitely put a stamp on and say that's a, a staple in the Bay Area, especially with youth basketball. It would be really, really cool to see the experiences that people have when they come in here and, again, how much they want to come back. And I think the tough part is going to be getting people out of here so we can get the next group in. We're all after the same goal, and the same goal is giving the kids the best experience possible. Our goal is really to get kids into the gym and be in a comfortable environment. They can learn, get better, have fun, feel confident. So we're going to have the ability to do that here. And that defense provides energy. Energy is contagious. So if I want to be a great defender, I need my teammates making sure that they can pick me we're up. We're giving back to the community on a much larger scale than we've already done. But the most important piece to why we are excited about obviously being here is just building confidence. And we'll set the blueprint for the NBA. That's the goal. Warriors on three. One, two, three. Warriors!